I'm making this video to warn humanity about one of the most disturbing, most sickening things to date. It is this dish. What is it, you may ask? Well, to be honest with you, I couldn't even tell you. I can tell you what's in it, but does this dish have a name? Hell in a pot, maybe? Death by potatoes and vomit? I don't know. I'll start with the backstory. Well, I was at Big Lots one day and I saw a big can that said German potatoes and it was only a dollar. Now, did I know what German potatoes were? No. But did I have a dollar? Yes. So I spent that dollar on that big can of potatoes. German potatoes. Now, you think someone like me having a cell phone always on the internet would just look up what is German potatoes, but I never did. That was probably one of my biggest regrets. Anyway, so it took me a couple weeks, and I just had this big can sitting on the counter. And I said, well, Today's the day. I guess I'll go ahead and see what this is all about. So I got my can opener. Opened the can. The first thing I noticed was this putrid, wretched, most phallus stench. Now you think, me being me, I'd say, okay, this doesn't smell good, so I'm going to not use it. Maybe throw it away, even. Nope. Can't put a good dog down. Bow wow wow wow. So, I poured those stink potatoes into this lovely pot right here. And then, I took some soup. Now this is not just any ordinary soup. This is a soup that I made. A soup that I what's a nice way of saying woefully detest anyway so I decided if 1 plus 1 equals 2 if a negative plus a negative equals a negative well maybe I can get it to equal a positive just this once so I combine the two sicknesses together. It's like combining AIDS and cancer. Or Zika and Ebola. So I put them in a pot together and threw in some seasonings. Season salt to be exact. I'm sorry, this stinks, so I'm having to take deep breaths. <coughs> anyway, and I cranked up the heat. I also had some fried chicken in my rotisserie, so I was like, that was my saving grace. Anyway, so when the dish was, um, mostly complete I decided to top it off with bacon bits because I felt you know if you add bacon to anything it should make it taste better boy was I sadly mistaken anyway so I fixed myself a bowl of this this um 
alien diarrhea. And I started to eat it. Now, I want to lie, but I had to fight my gag reflex several times. And I truthfully thought that I might need to call the ambulance afterwards. Because this was just so... I mean... Wow. So what this is... The white, obviously, is... Um, it's not alien herpes, if you were thinking that. It's actually the German potatoes. This right here Well, this isn't a dinosaur turd. It's actually it's turkey. Here you got some um some turkey bacon, turkey bacon bits. This little piece right here. Now this green I forgot what that was. Just to be honest with you. I forgot. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to vomit here. You can see the carrot. It hasn't mutated just yet, but give it a couple of hours. It'll probably have some tentacles or something. Yeah. I've made some um some nasty things in my day. I really have. Things that probably shouldn't even be on Earth. But this right here? Oof. This is probably powerful enough to scare ISIS away. Just the smell alone is the smell of a thousand deaths the look is off of something from the worst horror movie you can think of I should probably just save this and make a horror movie out of it See, I don't know why people flock to the movie theater spending all this money to watch stuff like Blair Witch and Hellraiser and The Exorcist. They really want to be scared? Just try this. Ugh. I think there's some onion in here too, which makes it even worse. If this was the Blair Witch, I would be sobbing on camera, saying how sorry I was, snot running out of my nose, all that fun stuff. But humanity? I'd just like to apologize for this one. This shouldn't be.